pay attention to sound. The one that's coming from you now. Don't mean to turn it upside down. I really want to hear you out. I can't know how it is to be where you so calmly sit when I'm further my own air. More to just be to really see something other than just me. Thank you to Typology for sponsoring today's video, but more on that in a bit. If I could give you more than half a year If I could give you more than half a year I just used Branch Basics to clean this mirror because I haven't cleaned it in forever and that stuff worked so good, my goodness. But good official morning, you guys. Today is Tuesday. Um, it is a couple days after Mother's Day, so I just wanted to say Happy Mother's Day. I missed being able to tell you guys, but I hope you guys had just like the best day ever. Nathaniel gave me probably the most intentional and thoughtful gift he could have ever given me. He took yesterday off and he switched me roles. He was Mr. Mom and I was supposed to work all day and just get like a full day nine to five like be able to work but i got hit with the stomach bug um, my sister and my mom had it over the weekend and we thought it was food poisoning but also we just really wanted to spend mother's day together and so we ended up going over there and it wasn't food poisoning because by the end of the night sunday i was not feeling good and quite literally all day yesterday, I was in bed. So I was super bummed. That was like the best gift ever, but I didn't even get to use it. But I also am thankful that he had the day off because I can't imagine having to like parent the kids all by myself yesterday with how I was feeling. So I guess it's just the way you look at it, but yes. I also wanna share really quick, this is kind of weird, but my whole pants situation. So I got these Zara shorts. I think I showed you guys like um, a couple videos back. And they were already a little bit big on me, but they're already like pretty big. Like they just like kind of fall down. My little trick is if you put your button through this loop right here and then put your pant loop on, it makes them a lot tighter. It is like a little bulgy right here, but not bad. Kind of gets that like asymmetric look, but it's a good fix for the pants because I clearly can't return these because I've already worn them, but it helps. I also wanted to share a little update on my like skincare makeup because it is like in the 90s, high 90s, low 100s this week in Arizona. So it is technically like summertime over here. But when it is summertime, I am in like full blown summer mode and all I want is like a natural 
effortless, like glowy look. I want to be able to like put my hair back like this because it's hot, I'm gonna be sweating. I feel like I've achieved that look and I wanted to share it with you guys because I added something into my skincare makeup routine. About a month ago, I did a full video on all of that. So if you guys wanna see like the majority of it, I will leave that linked below. But I added Typology's Glow Drops to my skincare routine and you guys, I swear it has like transformed my whole like effortless dewy glowy look. Typology is a French skincare brand that was created in Paris. All of their products are vegan and created in France, meaning they comply with the stringent European regulations that have already banned over 1300 ingredients. They are naturally sourced, healthy and effective and fairly priced. The glow drops are specifically my favorite. I add one drop into my moisturizer and my goodness you guys, it makes my face so radiant. It's kind of like a conceited thing to say but I've been receiving a lot of comments saying that my face and like my skin is like glowing and these drops are the only thing that I have changed to my routine. The glow drops are enriched with antioxidant vitamin C and soothing aloe vera, which is no wonder my skin just feels like so soft and my makeup just goes on so well afterwards. Like you guys, this is a close up, but like look at how just like glowy my skin is. I'm obsessed with it. I also absolutely love that it is suitable for all skin tones and they prioritize using recyclable materials throughout their entire packaging process. So if you guys wanna check out any of Typology's products, click the link in my description box. All orders over $40 will receive their blemish and wrinkle serum for free. Like I said, I'll have all this listed down below, but if you're gonna snag something, definitely snag these glow drops. They are the best. Gentle, okay? Let her up, let her up. <laughs> Where's Rocky? Hi. Who is that girl right there? I think we're gonna do one point of <laughs> Do you like your hair? You're funny, sis. Birdies? Rocky, Rocky. That is too loud, huh? That's scared, sis. Are you trying to see your crazy brother? Do you like her pigtails? It is the time of day where my kids are extremely high energy and I don't know why I try to vlog right now like a sit down like I should just show what we're doing instead but I wanted to share a little update with you guys about Rocky's room. Um, I'm not going to show where it's currently at besides what you're getting right now. You can kind of see the rug. Um, Rocky, nope that doesn't come in here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You guys are gonna have to just like listen past his craziness. But we ended up hanging the wallpaper over the weekend. My sister helped me out and it took us a while to figure it out, but once we did, it was smooth sailing and I think it is so cute. I cannot wait to show you guys that. As you can see, the rug came in. Um, we ended up picking up Rocky's. Okay, mama's gonna hold on to that then, okay? We ended up picking up a twin mattress from my friend's house over the weekend too. Uh, and his twin frame comes in tomorrow. And so does like his nightstand, his like comforter, his pillows, like all that kind of stuff. Wow, this is such a distracted clip. Nope, that stays out. Go cover yourself. Roll. Oh my gosh. All of that comes this week. So I will show you guys next week what the finished product looks like. Um, but I feel like showing right now, it's too like in between where like it's not gonna, It'll look better pieced together. I still need to like figure out what we're hanging on the walls, where, all that kind of stuff, but I am really loving it. Um, I did want to get an update too, because since he had his twin mattress, we decided to let him take a nap on the floor on the mattress, and it did not go well. Um, granted, he was like two hours past his bedtime, and so I think he was like overtired, but he got up a ton. He was doing all sorts of crazy things, so. Oh my gosh. 
So anyways, he's in his crib until then. We are gonna start it on Wednesday though when his bed frame comes in. We're just gonna like give him no option and we're gonna tackle it. So wish us luck. He's a really good listener, so I'm hoping it goes well. But he also has this side to him. <laughs> Even Echo is joined in. <laughs> I will give more toddler room updates in the next vlog. Sorry for the craziness, guys. Echo, would you like a book? Okay. Here, Echo, babe. Okay, you can have a book when you're done with your snack. I don't want you to get your book dirty, okay? Okay. Well, that's concerning. It said one of my packages for Rocky's room was delivered, and it's not in my mailbox, and it's not on my doorstep. Thank you. Echo, you have the same thing. done their best. The trucks roll home to get some rest. Away they rumble out of sight. Good job road builders and good night. Over the weekend we had a date night and we went and saw Guardians of the Galaxy and then afterwards we went and hot tubbed at my mom's house and when we were in the hot tub this like giant bug, I think it was a grasshopper, like flew on me and so I like threw my arm down and I banged it on like the seat. So if you guys have been seeing this like massive bruise on my elbow, that is why. But I also got some tulips. Um, I made a bouquet of flowers for my mom and my mother-in-law and there was enough extras that I was able to take some for myself too. And I have now found a new love for flowers, but specifically tulips. Like they are definitely my favorite flower and I was on Instagram today and I saw Milena posted about like preserving her flowers and I wanted to do it really quick. She just said that like she gives it fresh water every single day, like hardly snips the end and then adds um, honey and I don't have honey so I'm going to add agave but they're so beautiful. I do not want them to die and I can tell some of the leaves at the top are getting like a little flimsy so I'm hoping that that will help since I don't have any more of the like flower feed that it comes with um, but yeah I'm really loving just fresh flowers on our table a cure for the air next thing on my agenda is to complete a form for Rocky to attend preschool, which is actually insane. He's going to be three end of August, and so I do feel like this is like a little early, but I feel like people put their kids in preschool at like two these days. The preschool we're doing is just for a month, and it's actually hosted by my friend, so it's like preschool but like not like a full-blown year of preschool because Rocky's birthday is August 31st we are gonna have him be like older for his year instead of younger so he'll start kindergarten like at the age of six instead of like five because we want him to turn 18 in like the school calendar year I don't know why I'm explaining this to you guys but my point is is just that 
I feel like he has a while until he starts like preschool preschool. This is gonna be just like a fun summer thing for him to do. It's just gonna be a couple of days a week for a couple hours, so it's nothing crazy, but I need to fill out the form because it's just a few weeks away and I have neglected to do so. So I need to make sure I do that, but I just wanted to share it because it's crazy. I swear he has just like grown so much in the last like year. I was watching a video I think from like nine months ago, um, yesterday when I was just like sick in bed, yesterday I was like bored watching my old videos just to see the kids and he was so little nine months ago and he's just like this full blown toddler now. Um, I don't know if you guys like could tell, but like when I read him books, he literally like memorizes them and reads them with me and it's just like the craziest thing. Like he's just getting so big. So anyways, just sharing because my boy is starting preschool and I blinked. <laughs> for Mother's Day, Nathaniel also got me more stuff for my sourdough. Um, he got me this like banton that I can make like more of like a loaf style bread. And then he also got me a bread slicer, but my sourdough is actually currently in the fridge because of just like being sick, Mother's Day, like all that kind of stuff, I needed to like put it to rest. I also feel like I've been like wasting so much flour because if I don't bake with it every single day, it just gets into the discard pile and I haven't had enough time to like make discard recipes. So I'm trying to come up with like a good routine of when to like bake because I want like at least one loaf a week of sourdough made. Like our loaf has like this much left so I need to make another one soon. But I'm trying to come up with like a good schedule with that. And because of that, I have a lot of discard which brings me to dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna make pretzel discard sourdough buns. My friend Artemisa made this last week for us. We hosted them for dinner and she made the buns and like we had our meat and like all that kind of stuff, but um, it was really good and I wanna make them again. And in the last like 48 hours, I've had um, graham crackers, ramen, and a body armor. So I'm really craving some protein. I'm really hoping it doesn't upset my stomach. But if it does, it'll be worth it because they are bomb. And just another reminder to share recipes with friends on the shared note because like how satisfying is this? Like all of our recipes with photos next to it, um, it is so fun. Waiting for mama? Yeah? Is there something in your mouth? Do you want to go have a snack? <laughs> okay, let's go. I love you, sis. Oh, did you hear her too? Mama can fix it, okay? Do you need mama to fix it? Yeah, we're not watching TV right now, baby. Do you know where you're gonna go here in about 30 minutes? Yeah, you get to go see Brax too. You haven't seen Brax in a little bit. We got the pretzel buns in the oven. 
I've got the burger patties already made up and you can hear these are sizzling because I put them in. But then I didn't realize that the buns need to cook for like 30 minutes. So everything's prepped. So that way when it is time, when these have cooked a little bit longer, I can go in and cook this up too. This only takes like 15 minutes here. So feeling good. Also the kitchen is nice and clean. I love cleaning as I go with dinner. At the start of that, I was making all of that with the two kids next to me while Nathana was finishing up work. But the reason why the kitchen is clean and it is quiet and I have time to sit and talk with you guys is because Nathaniel took the kids to his brother's house for a bit so I can like do this whole thing in silence. And it kind of perfectly leads me to the chat I wanted to have with you guys today and I didn't even tell Nathaniel about it. So it just goes to show how good of a freaking husband he is. But, but I was watching one of Melina's videos. I've referenced her twice today in this video. I don't know how to word this without being like too religious, but I am not Christian. I don't really follow any sort of religion and so I don't really want comments on that. I don't really talk about it, but I'm saying that because her videos are extremely like Christian based, but I am finding that I'm able to take out of what like she is saying and like the point she's trying to make um, and apply it into my own life. And she's just been really speaking to me lately, specifically about husbands. And she had this video with her sister and her friend and they were just talking about like their husbands and basically like glorifying them and all these things. And it just resonated with me so much because I only want to like speak good about my husband. And I don't speak bad about him often, but there's a few people that have heard my frustrations and I don't want to do that anymore. I just want people to know how much I love him and how highly I think of him. And I truly believe that will only benefit our relationship. Nathaniel and I have talked a lot the last like few months just about how like marriage can be kind of sad because you tend to treat the people closest to you the worst. But like, why is that? We love them the most. And I'm just sick of that narrative. I'm sick of the narrative of like, oh, your relationship goes downhill when you have kids or oh, it goes down the longer you're married or really just anything negative. Um, I feel like I've touched on this about kids and I'm just like sick of the narrative that kids are burdens. Um, I actually did a podcast on that if you guys wanna hear, but I'm also sick of the narrative that husbands are horrible and they're the worst and they drive us nuts and just all those things. Like, I'm just sick of it. I feel like our husbands are great, at least mine is. Um, I married him for a reason and I'm obsessed with him and that's all I wanna speak out into the truth. And so I've just been trying to focus on like all the things that I can do for him and not all the things that he's doing that's bothering me or whatever it may be. Um, and it's been really helping me and it's been helping us and I feel like we're communicating better and we're on the same page of how we want to speak to each other and speak about each other and it just feels really good. So I feel like I'm just encouraging you just in case you too like aren't Christian. So maybe you didn't watch that video, but you like want the same morals that come from that religion. Um, I just encourage you to do the same. And I'm very hesitant about sharing this because I can just like see the comments already. But yeah, I just feel like I long for like like-minded people. Um, and it's really hard to find that, but I feel like there are a lot of people that I agree with in a lot of situations in the way she was explaining her husband and how she wants to speak about her husband and the wife she wants to be is completely how I want to be too. So yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about including this, but I hope it's received well. It's a conversation I've had with Nathaniel. It's a conversation I've had with my sister-in-law, my sister, one of my good friends, like it just keeps coming up and I just feel like, like the need to share with you guys to just, I don't know, try your best to just like not be a naggy wife, to encourage your husband, to speak kindly to him and about him. And I think that will only return, like do the same for you. So maybe I should do an entire podcast about that. If you guys are curious to know, let me know. Um, it is different with Brooke because Brooke is religious. And so we could potentially have like two different views on it, which I think is always a good thing to do. Um, I'd have to get her on board, of course, but yeah, that's kind of just been where my heart has been when it comes to my husband, my family. Um, maybe it's the homemaking in me. It's making me just appreciate what I have, but 
it's been really good on my heart. But I think that's where I'm going to end the vlog. When the kids and Nathaniel get home, we're just gonna have dinner, do bath time, go to sleep. Um, it's been a long two days with us both not feeling the best. And I'm excited to just sit and talk with him and just enjoy the night work free. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to check out Typology, especially their glow drops. Like, look, I still feel like my skin is freaking glowing. I love that stuff. If you spend over $40, you get their wrinkle and blemish serum for free. And yeah, I'll leave all that information down below, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.